It's a bit later. I normally get up. Morning. Morning. Good morning. This is how we've been starting off every morning. Go down into the living room and do some exercise. Let's go. Oh, my arms hurt from yesterday. <laughs> That's what we've been doing every morning. A little bit wobbly. Do you know what's so funny? Normally I do this in my pajamas, but I put some gym gear on just because I didn't want to look too stupid. We have to deal with the children and this young man. Hello, Teddy. Is it snack time? This is our makeshift classroom. We have Amy. Hi, Amy. And we have Finn. Hey. And guys, good news. What? It's snack sorry. time. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of that? Annie's off. This is our daily routine anyway when we work from home, isn't it, Tenny? <laughs> ah, makeshift office. Hello. Hello. How are you getting on? Good. Yeah? What are you doing? Well, we're just filming, showing how we're dealing with these struggles of working from home together okay. and how we're having to keep our own distance because <laughs> well, yes, we because we want to we want to stay married and we want to stay as a family yeah so. that's why i'm working up here on so, my own exactly yeah, <laughs> can i just show what i'm working on look this is a laundry basket which is normally in the hall an upside down tray uh my laptop a tissue that I've wrenched from the dog, which I don't know where he got it from. This is how we're connecting with our Andrew's mum and dad. Um, hi, Jack. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm I'm filming you whilst listening to you. Teddy and Finn making the most of the uh, working from home. This is where we sit and have our our mid morning snacks. My coffee there. We're just waiting for. Andrew to come and join us. She's on the uh, call to her mum and dad. Her uh, dad recently had a knee operation, so uh, thankfully he's still able to get those appointments in. Again, incredible NHS staff just working around the clock. I mean, it's it, it just unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. This is what it's come to. Can I get the doggy squeaky toy <coughs> through the netball hoop? Ready, Teddy? No. <laughs> no, I can't, is the answer. And now again. <laughs> Hours of fun. <laughs> I've decided we're going to try and do like an online version of Lou Simmin. So uh, they've called me today and asked if I can be ready to do, to like host the show. This is us recording the online version, I suppose, of yeah. Lou Simmin. <laughs> hey, everyone. Online. Say hi. Hi, Lisa Line. <laughs> <laughs> it's fallen over. Oh, that was loads of fun. I'm just clicking off now. The bit that we couldn't show is so I've clearly put on Corona weight and I've had my jeans unzipped all the way through. <laughs> I'm so glad they're only filming from here up. I got a small email from my number one university basically saying, uh, we would like to offer you an unconditional place at your uni instead of the conditional offer I was given beforehand because my portfolio and interview. That's amazing. <laughs> so you've got it. Yes. yes. Hey, that is so good. That is great news. There you go. Yeah, I'm very happy. It's worked out well for you, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> my baby boy. So just doing some stuff on the site. So just making sure there you are. Look at that. Right. So just making sure the latest features have, have gone up, especially with what's going on now. Mm -hmm. Things that can help people out. And uh, then just making sure with the new site, can't show too much, but uh, yeah, that um, things that I'm putting in place are actually getting there. Right, see you in a bit, bye. Bye. I'll shut the door. 
before everything went into lockdown, I went to the garden centre and got a load of plants, which I'm actually really glad now that I haven't planted because it's been frosty every night. And actually they look so pretty on our porch, I almost don't want to put them in the ground. This also is my favourite place. Oh my goodness. I just love it. It's so relaxing and so calm. Apart from when the blooming dog is barking. What are you barking at? I was just about to say, isn't it quiet? <laughs> Can you hear that? Other than the sound of meatballs, nothing. I'm on my own. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> Act normal, Ames. Act normal. Act what we do. Act normal. What's been the weirdest thing about being in isolation? Um, not being able to go out and see people, not going to school, just what have you missed? My friends. It's weird because it's just, I'm so used to going to see them every day and I just can't do that. But you see them on your phone. It's not the same. Imagine if you didn't have your phone and you had to sit on the landline. That's that thing over there, by the way. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <dust> <laughs> Heading out with all our lovely neighbours to go and clap. Hi. Yeah, well, <laughs> sort of. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Tough take down, isn't it? Yeah. Where do you work? Epson. We think you're amazing. This is for you guys. This is for you guys. <laughs> We've got two nurses Hello. Uh, and, um, and, a fireman. and a fireman and just hearing what they're going through we and didn't, what we they're didn't, battling every day. We didn't record it because it's not fair on, on them, but oh my goodness, hearing firsthand what doctors and nurses and key workers are going through right now. And dealing with people and then coming home and telling their own little children to stay away from them because they're so frightened that they've caught it and they're going to pass it on to their own children. <laughs> so that's our 24 hours in isolation. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster, to be honest. Um, but I think that's what uh, the coming weeks and months are going to be like. So. Stay safe everyone.